is it like, you know, being in the LA basketball scene and, and going to the league? It's really tough, let me tell you that. A lot of players like myself, we got, we got overlooked. Uh, we may not have been like the most flashiest, most athletic. I just feel like people that stay the course, you know, stay consistent, um, they'll get that recognition one day. So yeah, we're having a drive party for me. Um, my brother, my agent, they, they set it up. So we're gonna have a lot of family out. DJ, friends, old coaches, everybody, uh, pretty much I know they're gonna be there. So we gonna, you know, I try to have a good time. Hopefully I'm not waiting too long. See the fit one time. See me. You ready? Day. Ready. It's getting, I'm getting a little nervous. You have to be an NBA player. This is the last time you'll be leaving a <laughs> uh, college player. <laughs> that is crazy, right? <laughs> it is pretty crazy. And so I worked out for 11 teams. And so that, that's a grind. I'm in LA for a day and a half and I have to leave and go fly to the East Coast for a whole week or something like that. So, you know, it was tough. I started to wear down towards the end of the uh, workouts, but I was able to finish, finish out strong. You know, it's a lot of pressure going into these workouts because you feel like you have to do so good because you want to get drafted by that team, but people don't realize they watch you over the course of your college career, so they know what you can do. That, that process is just for you to interview with them and you know so they can get get to know you personally. And they do a lot of personality tests, see how you are, see where your mind is, stuff like that. So you know, that's the whole process, pretty much, of, of going with these teams. High school, first year I'd be in college. Behind the scenes of the Snapchat. <laughs> Alright, hey, can you turn yourself for it, baby? Turn yourself for it. That's what I'm gonna be. Yeah. Hit my die, move right. Hold my mama, I'm on one. Hit that side to side. Hit that side. Pull up with my feelings, it was over. The chain matched it with the real. Made it. We're here. How do you feel? Last words before you walk in the party? Feel good. Tell them you feel, feel good, good, right? <laughs> I feel like one of them with the glasses on. Swaggy. <laughs> Swaggy. Welcome to the 2015 NBA Draft at the Barclays Center with the first pick in the 2015 NBA Draft. The Minnesota Timberwolves select Carl Anthony Towns from the University of Kentucky. The Miami Heat select Justice Winslow from Duke University. The Phoenix Suns select Devin Booker from the University of Kentucky. The Atlanta Hawks select Kelly Oubre from the University of Kansas. The Washington Wizards select Jaron Grant from the University of Notre Dame. With the 20th pick in the 2015 NBA Draft, the
get to this point, how much extra work did you have to do or put in to be one of the best players in college? I just continue to work hard. Uh, summertime. Thank you for being here. And like I said, to God be the glory. We're so proud of the line. I just love that Uncle's already in the NBA. Uh, so young. <laughs> Congratulate him because he's gonna be my favorite MB. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Better than daddy already. Well, uh, now it's time to turn it over to the man of the hour. Mr. Everything, Mr. Do It All God, Mr. Bob Cousy, Mr. Pac 12 Everything, Mr. Second Team All American, Mr. T Dot Six Guy. Toronto Raptor, number 26. I really do appreciate everybody for coming out. Um, everybody had a piece of me, uh, you know, getting this to this point. Um, everybody helped me in some way. Um, I really do appreciate it. I'm speechless to start now. Um, Man, put on for the city, man. City boys, already. Ain't no city boys. <laughs> Shout out to my man Delon, man. Congratulations, bro. Love you. Love. You guys, right here, one time. Man, one more time. I can't believe it's still daytime. <laughs> it's in LA. <laughs> hey, can you just tell me how you feel now? How do you feel, bro? Yeah. Uh, I feel like a lot of weight is off my shoulder. Now I know where I'm going. People don't have to, you know, can stop asking me, do I know all this stuff? Um, a lot of stuff, uh, apparently. How did you feel when they called your name on the screen? I was shocked. Um, just to hear my name called and you know, you know, be here with all my family and you know, see them celebrate with me. It's fun. And then as a big brother who's played in the NBA, like what advice can you give him now that he's starting off in the NBA? Um, you know, just go out there and do what you do, man. We'll do what you've been doing to get you to this position in your life. And let's play your game, be who you are, stay humble, stay grounded. It's gonna be hard, but hey, just find a way. 